Hey. Yo. Why are you wearing a hoodie inside? I got a haircut. Aang? Do you need anything? Well, actually, yes. I'm quite concerned about you, and I think you need some advice from me. On what? Well, let's just say I'm not a really big fan of what you're making lately. I think you could do better. I was thinking you go back to, like, making longer videos, you know, like, make more Q&As, you know, like the old Derby. Who made you the expert all of a sudden, huh? I don't know, I just think we need another one of those classic Derpy videos, you know, like ASDF Cubing 2 or or a crazy OLLCP comeback. Oh, that would be great. You realize so many of those videos require an immense amount of planning, people, and time, and effort, and I just don't have that right now. I'm going back to school, and I really gotta make time only for videos that I enjoy making. Or a giveaway! Ah, oh, man, have you thought about doing a giveaway? Oh, that's such a good idea. I love giveaways. I hate doing giveaways. The winner never responds in time and it ends up taking way too long and becoming a mess. I don't do giveaways. Well, I thought you just needed some video ideas because it looks like you're running out. Running out of ideas? Excuse me? I'll have you know I make the best damn cubing skits on all of YouTube and that's a fact. Hey, weird question, but do you remember when you said, I hate G-perms? Oh, dude, that was so funny because like, I also hate G-perms, but like, in contrast to you, I actually don't know any of the G-perm algorithms because I have like a really underdeveloped work ethic towards cubing, but I love that video so much, man. Cynical. What? What was that? Cynical. I hear something. I, do, you, do you hear my phone? I don't hear... I can't find... Do you... I hear my phone ringtone right now. I don't know what... Wait, where? Have you... <sighs> Your ringtone is ASDF cubing? Yeah, along with my morning ringtone, stream alert sound, and general landline ringtone. How do you change the ringtone on a landline? That doesn't matter right now. Where is my phone? Oh my god. Oh my god. I am seriously stressing out right now. Dude. Oh my god. <sighs> Finally. I can make a video I enjoy. Let's do this. I think these are all my Dianes. Actually, I'm missing one, so I'm gonna edit one in from my last video. And I found the Dian 2x2 is just hiding in my room. Here it is. It's, I don't know, nothing special. I don't think I ever made this, but here it is. These are both old plastic Dian's that Mike McNeil gave to me. So thank you, Mike. This is a new plastic Dian, I think, that was my main for a while. This is my only magnetic Dian, and I think it was my latest 2x2 main before I switched to the Volk 2, I think. I'm not sure what I switched to after this. And this is the 2x2 that got me third at US Nationals 2015. So really sentimental cube. These are both of my Gulgon 2x2s. One is magnetic, the other is not. This is a Mohuan Shosu, I think, Chuen or something. It's not magnetic and it's not very good. This is a Yushin White 2x2 with, again, still, you know, no stickers on this corner because I put it on a different 2x2. And it still is missing two edges, so that's cool. This is a Lanlan 2x2 that Matt Shore gave to me as a gift, so thank you, Matt. This is a Rubik's 2x2 that I genuinely don't remember how I got, so I guess it's here. Here's another Rubik's 2x2, but this is the GAN Rubik's 2x2 collaboration. I also have zero clue how I have this, but it's here. This is some, I think, Yushin 2x2. Um, I don't really care what it is, so don't tell me in the comments. This is some kind of cube, I don't know what it is, but it is a dyed 2x2, and it is my only dyed 2x2, and I uh, got it as a prize for a comp. And this cube was actually made by Chris Tran, so that's pretty cool. And my two link pose. This is pretty much my first 2x2 main ever, and it's the one that I started using when I wanted to get competitive in 2x2, so this is what started it all. And this was my main a couple years ago, the Cubicle Premium Lingpo. It has an absurd amount of lupical black in it, uh, but yeah, it's not good anymore, but it used to be really good. And my two Chi 2x2s, I think these are both Volks, I'm not sure, but this one is unmagnetized and not good. And this one is my main, the Cubicle Labs Volk 2M. So yeah, pretty cool. And this doesn't really count as a legal 2x2, but this is a 2x2. Uh, so this is a sticker mod that I made, um, and it has two solved positions, which is where the centers are solved, and when the outside corner parts are solved. Okay, so for 3x3s, let's start first with all of my Chi 3x3s. This, I believe, was my first ever Valk. It is not magnetic, and it has a lot of wacky stickers on it, because, I don't know, I got bored. <laughs> Here I have two stickered Valk M's, which are pretty cool, but they're both kind of slow, so I don't really use them that much. This is a limited edition mint colored Valk, which I think just looks really cool. This is a mini Valk, which turns fine. Pretty cool cube. This is my Valk Power M, which I got my 
previous not current PR average of 7.20 on. This is my Volk Elite M. Don't really recommend this cube. This Thunderclap V1, which is quite slow. This is a Chi cube that I don't know the brand of, but I don't care because it was from a fan and it says like Derpy Cuber and it spells out G P E R M. So G perm. So that was the joke. <laughs> These are both my Thunderclap V2s. I really don't recommend them. This is my Chi MS, really good budget cube. And my current main, the Volk 3M, which I like a lot. Now for all my 3x3s of the Ganular brand. Let's start with the 356. So this one was my first Gan main, has no magnets. I broke a lot of PBs on this cube. And yeah, this is a pretty sentimental cube to me. Even though it does have the Kong's design logo. I just put it there for fun. I've got like five different U's and S's and M's and whatever. I don't even know which ones these are. This one is a 356 that's, I think, magnetic or really slow or both. Both of these cubes are hybrids of each other. This one has a mechanism of an SV2. This one has a mechanism of a UM, I think. And I think both of these are also UMs. Here's another GAN U that I don't think is magnetic. Yet another GAN UM or something, I don't know. <laughs> this was my first XS that I got at Lower Moreland. This is the Rubik's GAN collaboration cube that everyone at Worlds 2017 got. And my three stickerless GAN cubes. This is an XV2. This is an XS, and this is my 356M, which is my backup main, slash kind of my real main, I don't really know. And now for all of my Moyu cubes. So this is a Moyu Aolong V1 Mini. That is the only Aolong V1 I have, and it doesn't turn great, but it was my OH main for a while, and it has a good amount of sentimental value to me. Here are my GTS1s, two are dyed in Halloween theme colors. And this was my first ever magnetic cube. It is a GTS-1 and used to be my feet main, but now it is my nothing main because feet doesn't exist. This is my Moyu Aolong V2, which I bought from Roy Lee, and I broke a lot of PBs on this cube. Guan Long. Don't know what this is, but a fan gave it to me, so really cool. Whatever this cube is, some sort of GTS something. I don't know. It's not that good, so I don't care. Also another something GTS. I don't even know if this is Moyu, but I think a kid also gave this to me, so thank you for this. A GTS 1 or 2 that I think got sent to me with Lubical Black, but then I just turned into a cross practice cube and then took off one of the stickers. I don't know why. <laughs> My Testudo cube, which I got a lot of official PBs on, and I think this is a GTS 2 or a GTS 1, not sure. A Moyu Aolong GTS, I think, or something uh, that's boron treated, and it was a pretty good cube. This cool looking YJ Transparent 3x3 that I have, which is pretty awesome looking, but difficult to recognize on. Angstrom GTS2 with lots of gamma coating, but now it's sort of just dirt. <laughs> Two worms, one is bad, the other one was my main for like a year. Now for my Diane cubes. This is my first B cube ever. I think it was advertised as a Zanshi, but I think it's actually a Guhong. It doesn't turn that well, but I think it's still functional. I don't know. A mini Zanshi that was part of, I think, my very first cubicle order back in 2014. A full-size Zanshi, which I don't really remember how I got it, but I do have the famous Cubesmith logo, which is getting increasingly rare. And the Tangyun, which is a really quiet cube, but a little stiff. My Yushin cubes. This is a Yushin uh, Kylin, I think, 3x3, and it's got little tiles, which I think is interesting. And I believe these three are all little magics, and each one of these was given to me by a fan at a competition, so thank you so much. And now for the remainder of my stickerless 3x3s. This is a cube that Jules gave me at a comp, and it's like a hybrid mech between like a Guoguan Yusho, I think, and a Moju M4. I don't know what it is, but it was, it's kind of interesting, and it's got a really interesting logo. I don't know what it's from, but it's like an angry dude with a sandwich. If you know what it's from, let me know. This is the Magnetic Moju M3, or as I like to call it, the M4, and it was my main for a really long time, and it actually won my first competition. Here are two Guoguan Yusho pros, I think. One of these is light, one of these isn't, but they're both magnetic. And this one was the cube that I used for all of my world solves in 3x3. This is my Cyclone Boys Febu, and boy did it age poorly. And this is a Senhuan Mars, I believe. And it's actually a pretty good cube for not being magnetic. And to finish off the 3x3s is the remainder of my stickered 3x3s. Kong's Design Maying that I got for free at US Nationals 2015. Shangsha Wind that I still don't know what happened and I don't really know. Unmagnetized Moju M3, so not an M4. And for some reason the orange side got a little messed up, I don't know why. I didn't know what this cube was back in 2018 when I made my last cube collection video, but you guys really wanted to tell me that this was the Z Warrior 3x3, I'm pretty sure. 
And uh, cool, thanks. Here is the other unnamed cube that I asked you guys to name for me. And again, you guys let me know that it was something, but I forgot what it was and I don't care. So yeah, cool. My Guo Guan Yusha, I used it for a little bit and it's a pretty good cube. Maro CX3, which I tried to learn blind on and I did. Feng Shi Shuangren, I think, or something. But yeah, this is my only Feng Shi cube. And I kind of want a few more just for the sake of collection. And this 3x3, which I don't know how I got. I'm pretty sure someone gave this to me at a comp, uh, but I don't really know what it is. And I don't want you to tell me because I want the comments to be something else other than this cube is that. Four mini 3x3s. All three of these are keychain cubes. I don't really want to open this, but there's nothing really special about these cubes. This one turns worse than this one, but they're just keychain cubes, so yeah. And my smallest 3x3, the Maru mini 3x3, whatever it's called. Um, I assembled this on a video and I don't understand how I actually managed to do that without like getting really frustrated, but I did it. And um, yeah, this is a pain to assemble. <laughs> and I've got this big cube that I don't understand what it is or how how it is, how, why I got it, how I got it. I don't even know what, where this, I feel like this cube just shouldn't exist. I don't know what's wrong with it. I tried solving it once and one, two, three stickers just came off. So I figured let's just keep it the way it is and try to preserve it. But I don't understand why I have this. <laughs> Here's a Rubik's brand that I lubed with Maru and I can actually get sub 15s on. And this is a different sticker, which you can clearly see. And last but not least, my first ever Rubik's Cube. You can kind of see, but there's Felix's signature and Mott's signature sort of used to be on here, but it sort of faded away. Because the cubicle ran out of uh, logo covers, so I only got to cover Felix's name and didn't have enough to get to Mott's, so sorry. <laughs> this is my YJMGC. And this is a Mohuan Shosu something 3 by 3 I don't really know what it is. Now for my 4x4s. This is a Rubik 4x4 and it was my first ever 4x4. It's lubed with Maru, so it's like kind of okay. Some like budget 4x4 magnetic cube. I don't really know what this is, but I don't care. It's cool. Two full-size Wu Chueis and one mini Wu Chue. These are all good at one point, but not anymore. Some budget Chi 4x4, maybe also a Wu Chue. No, definitely not a Wu Chue, but something. I don't know. This is a Weisu or Aosu that Pavan Revenger gave me, and as you can see, it is not fully working. <laughs> Yushin Blue Mini, I think. It was uh, pretty good in its time, but now it's pretty bad. My two Aosus, this is my first ever 4x4 speed cube, and this was just something I got later, and I think I actually tried to swap the internals of both of these cubes. I don't really know how that turned out. And my main, the Aosu Celeritas GTS-M, I think, or GTS-2M. Um, it's one of those, but yeah, it's a really nice cube, and it's going to be my main for probably forever. 5x5s. Five Let's start with this loose, horrible mess of a Yushin 5x5. Five five. The reason why it's so absurdly loose is because I put the screws of a Yushin 6x6 six six in here, and I put the screws of this cube into that Yushin 6x6, six six, and it made the Yushin 6x6 six six good, but in turn it made this cube horrible, so it's virtually unusable. This is an Aochuang, or whatever this thing was called. It had the stupid smaller outer layers, which I don't know why they thought of that. Why did they think that was a good idea? Here's a Cuban Classroom 5x5. Five five. Uh, it's not magnetic, so it's like not good, but it's okay. I believe this is some sort of like older GTS kind of 5x5. Five five. I think it's from Moyu. Um, it's pretty good, but and it's magnetic, so I think it was my main for a little bit. This is another Yushin 5x5, five five, I'm pretty sure. I can't believe I restickered so many of my 5x5s. Five it's crazy. This was my first ever magnetic 5x5, five five, the Wushuang M. And uh, I did a lot, a lot of solves on this. And my current main, another Wushuang M, because I'm okay with this cube and I don't really need an upgrade. I mean, I could get the GTS or Volk 5, but not until this breaks or something. We got some 6x6s. My first ever 6x6, this Shengshao, which I got at Nationals 2015, and I'm too scared to turn it quickly because I think it might explode, because I think the core is broken. There's this budget kind of Yushin 6x6. I don't really remember how I got it, and it's, uh, it's all right. This is the Yushin 6x6 that I put the Yushin 5x5 springs inside, and it's still a really nice cube, honestly. This is the Wuhua that was my previous main, and it's super, super sluggish. It's, like, painful to turn this. And my current main, the YJMGC 6x6 uh, Magnetic, it is wonderful, I love it. I don't really do 6x6 that much, so I'm pretty sure this is going to be fine for me for a long time. And now some 7x7s. So starting off with my first 7x7, this is a full-size Shengshao 7x7 that I bought from Josh Farron. It's actually Florian modded, which is like crazy to me, uh, but it's, it's 
I don't know, it's a cool cube. I like it. It's nice to have an old Shangsha puzzle in your collection like this. Here's my first real main, which was a Shangsha Mini. As you can see, a lot of the stickers were, you know, messed up, but that's because I did a bunch of solves on this, and this cube is one of the only cubes that still has the GJ logo. Um, and yeah, I find it very sentimental. You can't have a proper cube collection without a V cube. Uh, this is the V7 that I borrowed from a friend and then they never asked for it back, so I'm still waiting on their answer. This is the Cubic Moyu Aofu. This was like revolutionary when it came out. Haze 7, also revolutionary when it came out, but it's, it's still a really, really good cube, but the piece fell out, so I can't really use it. This is my Wuji, which has the you know iconic scratches and all sorts of stuff that happened to it from being at the bottom of my backpack. Uh, but this cube held up my phone while I was filming my uh, 5.49, so this is a really, really special cube. And finally, my main, the X-Man Spark M. This is a fantastic cube, and just like my 5 and 6 mains, I do expect to you know have this main for a while, so I'm really comfortable with it. And my largest N by N, my 8 by 8. This has remained my largest N by N for like forever, so I don't really plan on getting anything bigger unless I get something for free. <laughs> I really only saw this cube occasionally, definitely like maybe like five times a year maximum. But yeah, this is just a cool thing to have on display and it turns okay. It's Shangshou, so it's not the best, but yeah. Bakugan, let it rip. Mega Minxes. My first real Mega Minx was this Diane Mega Minx and I did the 40 point edge mod to it and it's, I don't know, it's all right. It's not, it's nothing special. But yeah, I remember doing a lot of solves on this Mega Minx and this is sort of where I started. Then I got this Shangsha Mega Minx and also like did an entire Florian mod to it. I was kind of dumb for doing that because like the day I finished modding this cube, the X-Men Galaxy was just announced coming out and I was like, are you serious? Like, why did I do that? <laughs> but yeah, it's a really pretty cube, I think. And um, I think the Florian holes make it look a little cooler. This is my first Galaxy, this is the V1. It is bigger than the Galaxy V2. And as you can see, because it was in my backpack while traveling, uh, a lot of caps fell off and I have no idea where they are, but that's okay because I don't use this cube. Got this Shengshou Pearl back in like 2017. Uh, it's nothing special. Here are two Galaxy VMs, but only this one is mine. This is Cubicle Labs and it used to be my main for a while. But this one actually isn't mine. I accidentally stole it at Tea Time Spring 2018. And ever since I've been trying to get in contact with the person who had this cube. And so far I've had a lot of claims, but none of them have been actually provable because every time someone has claimed it, I've looked at their names and then looked at the competitor sheet and they weren't at the competition. So, so far I haven't actually found anyone who owns this cube. So please let me know if you were at tea time and you lost this cube. And finally my main, the Gan Megaminx. This cube was given to me very kindly by a kid at Worlds. Thank you so much for this cube. It is a wonderful cube and I expect it to be my main for a while. Scooby dooby doo, here we go. This is my first ever scube, the Moyu Scube. It is quite clunky now, but it was pretty good back in the day. Here are two cheese cubes. This one I got at uh, Manhattan competition, and this cube was given to me by an awesome fan, so thank you so much. And unfortunately, I am missing a piece, but maybe one day I'll find it. <laughs> and my main, the X-Man Wingy. I don't really care about scubes, so this is just a scube, so yeah. <laughs> Here are my only two Pyraminxes. This is some weird budget Shangshou Pyraminx that's bad. And this is the X-Man Bell V1. And I really, really don't plan on changing that because I don't care about Pyraminx. But I also enjoy doing Pyraminx, which is a good combination. And clock, I only have one. This is a Lingao clock, I believe. It is pretty standard, not too fantastic, but it's all I need to practice clock every now and then. Last but not least, Skvarvan. These were my first two cheese. This was my first ever chi, and I put purple on it because I thought it looked really cool. And this one I put pink and purple on it. And this is the cube you see in my how to get good at square one part one video. This is my only other original chi, and it's, I don't think I really used it that much, but it's a pretty cool cube. We've got five volt V1s. This one was the very first one I got and I hated it because it's not good at all. And then these two I started to actually like because they were modded and magnetic and a lot better. And I'm pretty sure that this one was the cube that I used to get third at 2017 Worlds. So it was a really cool cube. And my two Black Volt V1s. This one is my 549 cube and this cube is actually my backup which I posed for the photo with. Like an idiot, I did that for the picture. I don't know how I didn't notice that, but yeah, that happened. I did a lot of solves on this cube, lots of solves. This is just a Guanlong or a Squanlong or whatever you want to call it. Um, this is one of the very first square ones uh, to be mass produced that had a proportional middle layer to the UND layers, so that's pretty cool. Got three YLMs. This is my first YLM, it was completely stock and I set it up myself. And this was the cube that I went into Worlds using and I got third with this cube, so it's 
pretty cool. Both of these are Pro Shop YLMs. They're both really, really good. Um, and this one I used, it's my backup during Worlds, and this one I used for Nationals, so yeah. And finally, my two Volt V2s. Unfortunately, I broke one of the corners of my first Volt V2, so that's why I had this backup, and I set it up the same exact way as this Volt V2, and now this works like a charm. And whenever something breaks in this cube, I'm just gonna use this for parts and hope to God that it's not the red, green, white corner. But yeah, this cube is my main, and I haven't really done too many things on it. Uh, I did get an official five in January with this cube, so that's cool. But yeah, this is my main. All right, now some non-WCA. I've got two void cubes, pretty much the same. Got three mirror blocks, two are Sheng Shao. One is something else, but it's a speed cube version, whatever the speed cube brand is. Windmill cube, this is a really fun puzzle to solve, but I am missing a sticker, unfortunately. Fisher cube, kind of annoying to solve because it's a weird grip, but not as annoying as the comments I get about this center cap. Cube for you house cube, I forget what version this is, but this feels like version two or something. I don't know, but yeah, looks like a house. Two master morphinxes. This one is whatever the old version was, the Lamlan or Moyu or something, I don't know. But this one is the cubing classroom one and it turns a lot better. My five by five cutter cube that I made with Allison or the programming cuber. Really cool puzzle, but since it's not perfect, it does have a few lockup problems, but still solvable. My only square one mod and the beautiful YouTube play button mod by JJinx Trash. And I recently made a video on this. This is a really awesome cube. Definitely one of my favorite looking cubes ever in my collection. I've got four cuboids, the discontinued Moji floppy two by two by one, whatever it's called, I don't know. The super floppy three by three by one, where you can do stuff like that and twist the edge pieces. A domino cube, which actually solves very similarly to a square one. And a Calvin's three by three by five cuboid, which I really like, but I am not good at solving, so I'm kind of scared to scramble it. I've solved it a few times, but every time I look at a tutorial, I always get confused. So maybe one day I'll figure out how to do it on my own. Now for some sticker mods. Sudoku cube that I've solved once and will never solve again. A Christmas cube that someone gave me. A Van Gogh cube, which I think is pretty cool. A sticker mod I made and it was very, very bad. Um, you can hear the Legos inside of it, so it also functions as a Morocco cube. But yeah, this is really poorly done, so please don't roast me. A much, much higher quality mod by Adam the Rubik's Cubed. If you're sad about not being able to buy puzzles like this, Adam is actually selling shirts, which look just as fresh, so check them out. Got a Disney cube and this National Gallery art thing. I don't know. It has a bunch of art stuff on it. I wouldn't be able to say what everything is. I've got three gear puzzles. The gear shift, which pulls apart and turns like that. Really cool puzzle. The gear three by three, which I am not very good at solving, so I kind of am scared to, uh, to scramble it. And sort of a harder gear three by three is the gear ball. And uh, Drew Brads and Andy Denny are like the kings at this, so maybe I should learn from them. This Nautilus cube, which I got at Nats 2018 from a fan, so thank you very much. I don't think I've actually fully scrambled this because I'm scared to not be able to solve it again. This Masa Henko Sphere, I think it's called. Um, I got this as a gift, and this is actually a really fun puzzle. One Sheng Shao, I think, KB Minx. I remember getting this when KB Minx was all the craze back in late 2016. I even competed unofficially at a competition. My Helicopter Cube, which is the only puzzle that I still haven't figured out how to solve. I made it over here and I don't know what to do and I sort of given up. I've asked a lot of people uh, and no one knows how to solve this cube so I'm just giving up. <laughs> but yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope you counted how many cubes because I certainly didn't. And yeah, leave a comment saying what your favorite puzzle was. If you enjoyed this video, please hit subscribe, like the video and comment because that really helps out my video. And yeah, I'll probably make another cube collection video in like another two years. So cool. See you guys then.